Hello, I'm going on a workshop today um, learning about natural dyeing so I thought I'd take you along and we're going into Oxford to the Ashmolean Museum so I'm going to try and show you a little bit about that as well so I'm just going to set off in my car to Oxford. <laughs> Oxford now and it's a bit noisy but this is Beaumont Street. I'm just going to go along here. The Ashmolean is part of the Oxford University Museums and I think actually it's the first, it might be the first public museum in Britain. Um, it hasn't always been in this site but I think it's been here um, since Victorian times. So it's quite a splendid building. And I think there are tours waiting to go in. And it's mostly art and archaeology, um, all sorts of wonderful things here. I've been here for a while, but about 15 years ago, it was redeveloped inside. So we've got now got this wonderful atrium. So there are all sorts, as I say, there are all sorts of things here. Um, you know, from classical paintings to archaeology wonders. Um, So that is the Coreopsis or tick seed and it's got a really brilliant colour now. And this was one piece of fabric and it was all that colour, okay? So that is all one colour. Now how do we get to different colours? Well, I'll show you the magic. You dip, you dip um, that one in there. That is citric acid. It could be lemon juice if you've got lemon juice at home. You can get this anywhere, it's food grade, it's fine. And what it does is it acts a bit like a bleach. So it's changing. Um, you'll see that this will shift now to pH two or three. So that color is going to change. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, so squeeze it out. You can get your hands in that. It's not gonna do anything. And um, you rinse it in the water. Um, and then you've got your, you've got this color. So what we've discovered, if I place it on there, is we've got the original, then we've got the one that's been modified in citric acid, and then what's going to happen when we put it in the next one, so this is an alkaline, washing soda, soda crystals, in textiles we use something called soda ash, soda ash is really expensive and it's basically it's just soda crystals, that's much cheaper, so we'll bang it in there, what's going to happen to that? Dun, dun, dun. And Obviously, the longer you leave it in, the darker it's going to go. The, the giving it away now. The color is <laughs> dun dun dun. Oh, it's the magician part. Right. So this is why I love Coreopsis because it's it's great. Um, it's a good color shifter, so it modifies beautifully. So it's got more orange. So they call that a brightener. So it can make the some things don't shift very much. But I know that Coreopsis does. Does okay. it matter which? Because the flowers come in quite a lot of different colours. Does it yeah. make a difference? No. Okay. Even the dahlias will yeah. be very mm. similar colours. Yeah, you know. um, I have found that the purple dahlias go a lot more or orangey. The others are sort of more yellow. And then we've got our last one here. 
So this is actually iron. Now iron is ferrous, ferrous sulfate. You don't put your fingers in here. So what I've got is some scoops. Um, I mean, it's it's literally fine. There's another, oh, there's, there's, no, there's another piece of fabric in there. From the, I, was testing, I was testing them earlier. Yes, it does <laughs> <laughs> And you can smell it's very, very irony. Um, and I've lost it. And this does happen. That's a different one. No, that's a different one. Oh no, is that it? Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. So it's all right if you touch it a bit like that, but you don't want to, you know, sort of, you don't want to drink from it at all or bath in it. Not very nice. But just rinse your hands afterwards. And again, squeeze it out, and you can just sort of damp it on the dry it on there. And again, so you've got a different a different colour. Oh, so the iron is called a sadhana. So it can make um. things like a darker colour. So the <laughs> anyway, but the walnut ink, so the walnut, if you put the walnut, which is gonna start off looking like that colour, once you put that in the, the walnut in there, it's gonna go really dark colour. Mm. And the reason that is because it's full of tannin and tannin and iron really do this wonderful thing together and they just kind of go right we're just going to be black really dark um so tannin and iron so things like acorns walnuts um what else are the gallnuts they go really really dark what are you doing i am doing bamboo in red onion oh, yes that was your favorite was it well it was the greeny yes it was the, but it's my favorite of the green yeah so thing that you see the red and the green together in that colour. I know, that's the mother. She's yeah, fabulous. Yeah. I have tried to grow some without any success. I'm going to have another go for next yeah. year. Yeah, it'd be fun to grow it and then Yeah, use it. your own. Yeah. Ooh, that's no, lovely. No fabric. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Whoever's doing that one. It's so lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. They, they take up. Yes, I've actually fabrics. got some eucalypt. I'm, I'm not going to use the eucalypt because I've actually got some in my garden so I can have a go at that at home. That is a beautiful colour, isn't it? Well, I think it's fabrics take out of colour. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Wow, those are gorgeous. Mm. All right, okay. Okay. Yeah, you go right ahead. Thank you. Wow, those are beautiful. Amazing. Oh, you've got nice writing as well. <laughs> Hello, I'm back at home now, so I thought I'd just show you my results. I kind of feel, when you're filming something that you're doing, it's quite hard. I think kind of both get a bit compromised, so I hope I've got some decent footage um, to edit together. Um, but I kind of felt a bit rushed doing the actual dyeing, so my, my worksheets aren't as good as anybody else's, I think. And what we had to do was for each different fabric we wanted to have a go at, We'd put them in a different dye, so that's in that case I used Coreopsis, and that's the original when it comes out of that. They'd already been, the fabric's already been mordanted by Kate. And then we used some modifiers, and it's amazing, you can see the difference it made. I think I got this one right. Some of them, um, this one for instance, I'm not sure I got those in the right order, and also one of them, they, as they were still a bit wet. I forgot the ironing part. You were supposed to, the last stage was supposed to be ironing and I forgot to do that. So um, some of them were still a bit wet, which is why the colours run. So that's not a very good um, reflection of how we're supposed to do it. But I 
do think that that purple is absolutely gorgeous. And that one was one called Aronia Berry, which um, is also called Chokeberry, um, which I have heard of, and you can buy it in health food shops apparently. Um, and I just love the colour that that came. Um, this was using Coreopsis flowers, which I've got from my garden and I've dried some, so I'm excited to try some experiments with that. This was a fabric called Milk Twill, so it's fabric that's been made from milk um, because it's a protein, like silk is a protein, so I never heard of that. And that was, yes, that was the Aonia berry. This was pomegranate rinds, and the original of that is this beautiful, sort of slightly greeny yellow. Um, but that again changed with the modifiers. And then this one was using madder, which is a sort of long traditional um, dye stuff that's been used for centuries. And this again, this was cotton. So that was the original. That was using the iron, which apparently is called I don't know whether I got that in the video when she was talking about it's called a sadener because it make, makes things a bit sort of grungier. That was with the sode and that was with the citric. So it was a really fun morning. I learnt a lot. Um, she was a great teacher and it was just really, um, really creative and inspiring. And I've got quite a lot of plants in the garden like the eucalyptus and the coreopsis and apparently dahlias you can use. So I'm going to do some experimenting um, in the next few weeks, so you might see that. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon.